अब गर्ना त महिलाले अब चुलो चौको बोन जंगल पानी पोंदेर सबै कुरो महिलाले गर्नु पर्छ पहाडमा अ त्यो पहाडमा गर्दाखेरि अब महिलाहरुलाई गाह्रो हुने त अब हुने नै भो अब के नि के अब पुरुषहरुले नि त्यसमा सगाई दिने हो भने देखि महिलालाई नि के नि के हलुङो हुन्छ हल्का हुन्छ Yamma <laughs> It is an unprecedented change in the demography of rural Nepal. One household after another, there are women, children and the elderly, but hardly any men in sight. They have left their homes to work in the cities, forcing the women to take on the additional burden of farming all by themselves. And while they struggle to keep up with this harsh job, this trend is ultimately impacting the food production and food security of Nepal. Nepal is a gifted land with its mountains and glaciers and thousands of rivers and rain that feed its agriculture. But currently, Nepal is estimated to lose nearly 1.5 to 2% of its GDP every year to extreme events like floods and droughts. Something has gone very wrong. Rains are increasingly unpredictable and in some areas, crop yields are down by more than half. Farmers don't have enough to eat, let alone to sell at market. Future climate scenarios project a net decrease in crop productivity and high economic costs from lost production. Scientists say Nepal is facing a large adaptation deficit. <laughs> It's a simple idea making a big difference. Lined with a plastic sheet, this pond collects all grey water from the household. Farmers are reusing this water for irrigation, thereby increasing the number of crops and vegetables growing in their home gardens. With a capacity of 4,500 litres, these ponds save women from the hard labour of fetching water from afar. It's like entering a new school of farming. Nearly 300 farmers from Nepal, from the high mountains, the mid-hills and the Terai plains are being mentored by a group of experts to adopt what is now globally known as climate smart agriculture. These are essentially farming practices and tools that help farmers to adapt to climate change and at the same time increase their agricultural productivity and incomes and wherever possible reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Given that the onus of farming in Nepal is majorly in the hands of women, gender is an important cross-cutting theme. It means that farming practices are developed to benefit women farmers while creating an inclusive environment for them. Uh, climate smart agriculture is you know, really important for Nepal uh, because it, it, it helps uh, us to reconcile these two goals. Uh, improving food security and also uh, adaptation to climate change. So that's why we are, we think this climate smart agriculture is the future uh, for Nepal. In the mid hills of Nepal, crop yields are especially vulnerable to hailstorms. 
Now, in a few fields, the crops are sheltered by plastic tunnels, simple wood structures covered with plastic sheets. Water being scarce, the crops are being drip irrigated, saving water by nearly 30%. This year, women in a village called Majdhana in Kaski district grew their first crop of tomatoes under plastic tunnels. It was also the first time ever that they sold any produce in the market. An SMS service that gives weather forecasts and market information has turned a few women into smart entrepreneurs. Finally, it's also about ideas that make life easier for the women. Several hours of drudgery are now saved by this smart corn shelling device. Uh, sometimes machinery also may not appear as a climate smart agriculture in the international definition, but the farmer were really, you know, willing to take those technologies. So we also, you know, provided those technologies to the farmers. So it is all based on what they need, what they require right now, mm -hmm. uh, to adapt to climate change and to adapt to other changes actually that is happening in the field, not only climate change. These are the granaries of Nepal, the Terai plains that contribute nearly 55% of Nepal's cereal production. Post monsoon, the farmers depend on groundwater for growing wheat and maize, but hiring diesel operated pumps to get groundwater is beyond their means. In Agioli village, in Navalparasi district, a solar pump, managed by a group of farmers, has changed the game. Each farmer gets a good water supply every day at one-sixth the cost of diesel pumps. Fields that were left fallow due to water scarcity are now getting irrigated and yielding a variety of crops and vegetables round the year. In other fields, some farmers have drastically reduced the use of chemical fertilizers. As a new practice, they collect and store dung under small sheds. Compared to dry dung, this manure is moist and richer in nutrients and safeguards soil health. On the other hand, urine from cattle sheds is collected separately and used as a biofertilizer and biopesticide. Thanks to these practices, in some fields, yields have risen by 15 to 20 percent. Finally, success can only be sustained if new practices are validated and owned by communities themselves. The Village Development Committee of Majthana is keen to continue and expand these solutions to other farmers. But really, how do these solutions reach out from a few hundred to a few millions across Nepal. We are implementing uh, what you call PMAMP, Prime Minister Agriculture Modernization Project. Nepal ma bivinna mantrale antaragat gora bivinna development partner ru NGO NGO le pani yes ma climate smart technology or ma kam gorega sam piloting gorega sam tena consolidate gore ra prioritize gore appropriate technology lai amile hamro formal extension system. But the large number of uh, clients, the large number of farmers, uh, through our uh, mechanism. Nepal's food security and much of its well being will continue to remain in the hands of its small and marginal farmers, especially its gutsy women farmers who struggle every day and yet take on every new responsibility with cheer and abandon. Enabling these farmers to deal with climate change is Nepal's best bet towards securing its future.
To know more about Nepal's climate smart agriculture, visit www.cdkn.org.